Let us pray. The calling for the fourth Sunday in Lent. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear saints of God, greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Christ. As I speak to you now, we are painfully aware that COVID-19, the coronavirus, has created a pandemic in the world. We who live in the state of New York have seen the national levels of infections exploded to more than 19,000 resulting in some 247 deaths. Within our own state, the numbers are more than 10,000 infected, of which over 5,000 are in the New York City, accounting for 42 plus deaths. We have confirmed cases in Staten Island based on my last reading, which showed a 223% increase within the past two days. To this end, the people of the state of New York have been ordered by our governor, the Honorable Andrew M. Cuomo, to stay at home. Our diocesan bishop, the right Andrew Dici, because of his concern for all of us, have ordered all places of worship closed. This closure may be for a much longer period than we expect, even beyond Palm Sunday and Easter. However, while the church buildings are closed, and while we have been driven to a state of isolation due to the impact of COVID-19, no doubt we remain the church. The church scattered, and in particular, the church virtual which is allowing me to reach you in this moment. Over the past week, I have seen the fruits of us at Christ Church in New Brighton being the church scattered in ways that make me proud to be your rector, even more, your pastor in times like these. Here are a few examples of what I mean. Many of you have been very attentive and caring for the very elderly among us who need our help more so now than ever. You have provided food, water, and love as you lived into this maxim that we are indeed our brother and the sister's keeper. You have called and cheered each other on through our shepherd's ministry, which is being led by your wardens and members of the vestry. Our leadership, in particular, your wardens and I have been in constant dialogue about the things we should adjust 
to optimize this unexpected downtime in our life as community. You as individuals and families have sent me emails or called with suggestions as to how we can best respond to each other in this unprecedented crisis. Many of you have driven to the church to place your offering in the mailbox even before or asking of you to do so. I am grateful for this and the many other unselfish acts being done to keep us intact as God's community in times like these. But in times like these, the hymn writer says, we need a Savior. In the first stanza of Levi's 71, it reads, in times like these, you need a Savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure. Be very sure your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. So as we come to this fourth Sunday in Lent, a time in which we celebrate the theme of the Good Shepherd, Jesus, the solid rock, let us continue to allow him to be our solid rock. Because again, as the hymn writer reminds us in hymnal 645 verse 1, the king of love my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. So then, let us with this confidence and in keeping with the appointed psalm for this fourth Sunday in Lent, say the 23rd psalm together. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leaves me besides still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I encourage you to let these words wash over you, to protect you. Let these words be in you to feed your soul and your appetite for justice and community. Let these words guide you to follow the path of love, mercy, and compassion. Yes, be strong and of good courage in the Lord today and every day as we together overcome the scourge of COVID-19, the coronavirus.
Now, while this is painful, I believe that as we adjust to this new normal, that it will help us to better understand what it means to be the church scattered and how we must be that beloved community at all times, but even more in times like these. Stay well and healthy. And as we live now in social isolation, let us remember who we are and whose we are. May it be so, in Jesus' name.